All right, um, I decided to film this today. Uh, it should be a quick repair. Uh, as you guys can see, this is a this is a headset uh, with the microphone and etc. It's a uh, this Jabra UC Voice 750 MS. Uh, this is the one I use at work, and it's very very good. It's very good sound. It has noise canceling. Uh, so yeah, it's a very good headset, but as you guys can see, the cable has gone bad, so yeah. Uh, so I'm seeing if I can replace this, or uh, actually, no, just do a quick fix. I have already started to crack it open, but then I thought, well, let, let me let me record it. Maybe it's going to be a, a nice thing, maybe, you know, quick, but cool to have a look inside. So let's do it. Uh, well, this, this you guys are seeing is like a... Uh, you know, just a volume control, and you can take uh, link calls and mute your headset. Uh, I think many many companies these days are using this uh, Microsoft Link, or actually now it has been rebranded as uh, as a Skype for Business. So yeah, this is this headset works well with that. You know, volume controls, take calls, or you know, end calls and mute. Okay, so let me let me crack it open and see what's inside. Okay, I crack it open. The first thing I see is the tactile down buttons, buttons, and it's is it hot glue? I think it's hot glued, or it's hard to do this kind of thing on, uh, behind a camera. But I think it's glued, glued down. Because I do not see any screws, yeah? So there's little, yeah, there's some little pieces of glue in here. Let me just, okay, let me, let me pause for a moment and have a look off camera just to make sure I'm not going to break anything when I open it. And I'll be right back. Okay, got it. Yeah, nothing complicated. I just couldn't see it through the, uh, camera uh, fuel finder but uh, let me wait for it to focus if it ever does but you see here this little uh, plastic things here they are melt to hold the PCB in place so I think I'm gonna have to kind of break them uh, but what I think I'm gonna do just gonna take a file or a, a knife an exacto knife and cut them and later on I can just keep them stuck with something else you know maybe maybe tape or whatever but yeah I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that off camera because it's not that interesting anyways okay okay hope you guys can see it well it's uh, this is here this here is a CX2773 it's a connection part and it's actually a system on chip for for headsets <laughs> so it does the whole thing it can take the mic inputs which are coming through this here uh, and this is marked as K404 is an ST micro part and it's actually a dual LM358 uh, op amp so I think that's uh, amplifying the mic input I don't know if we have two mics in there or what they're doing but either ways I mean that's a dual op amp package or chip and it's feeding then into the into the system on chip uh, solution here which can do then everything else you know can uh has many audio algorithms it has a, a usb uh interface to connect with the pc uh it has uh output amplifiers for the headset for the headphones i think it can do two watts per channel so it's kind of beefy uh so yeah that's that's about it i think it also has some uh power management functions you know like you can generate a couple rails for you that you may need uh, so I think that's so it's not too exciting as you guys can see just a crystal for a clock you know a few passives and a system on chip here and a dual op amp so not much into it uh, so that's it what I think I'm gonna do to fix this or at least to stabilize this this thing here is uh, I'll just unsolder this the wires in here from here just so I can sleeve or can put a piece of heat shrink over it and then I'm gonna, you know, shrink it, shrink it, and uh, hoping it's gonna stabilize this enough, well enough. Because the cable, 
isn't completely broken you know it's just sometimes it, it goes a bit you know um, bad so um, I think I'm by doing that I'm going to stabilize this enough and that way I do not have to cut out the stress relief thing here because you know I cannot cannot think of a way of reutilizing this without you know if I cut it off so yeah so that's it let me do it okay wiring unsoldered uh, I just cut a piece of heat shrink here <laughs> my only fear is that it's not gonna shrink enough around the cable here which is much thinner than this part here of course and uh, I have to be at least this wide so I can go through it so yeah let's see how it goes as I was afraid of uh, yeah that head shrink was too big and it didn't shrink around the cable as much as I wanted uh, so yeah I think I'll have to redo it and I think I'll have to do it the hard way which means I think I'll have to cut through the stress relief thing here uh, take the cable off you know put some new cable around it and then uh, hold it in place with uh, then hold it in place with the hitch ring uh, once I'm done and then I'll probably have to go from you know thinner to thicker hit ring gradually maybe some two or three different sizes so I do like a, a funnel again to the wire here so I mean let me give it a try okay so here's what I did I just pushed the uh, stress relief thing out of the cable so what I'm I'm gonna try it I'm gonna try to put it through again and then I have different uh, diameters of hitch ring here so I have let me just push it here so I have oops, I have 3.5 I have 4.5 and I have 6 I just put them all here just in case I need some larger diameter so what I think I'm gonna try and do it or try to do is push the cable through again that's gonna be hard but I'm gonna give it a try and then I'm gonna you know have the hitch ring come some way over it and then I'm gonna shrink it and then I'm gonna have you know some smaller diameter hitch ring inside if needed just to make sure I have a good, a good, uh, you know, shrinkage around where the cable joins here again. Just so, yeah. Just make try and give it some strength. Let's see how it works. Okay. Okay. A bit to my surprise, I managed to push the the wires through again, and I have just for safety, I have put all different. Uh, diameters of hit shrink <laughs> in here uh, so I have 3.5 4.5 6 and 7 I have all of them in here and but and now and then I put the cable through again I, I used a little bit of this grease just to make it easier but you know it was actually not that difficult so what I'm gonna try do try and do now is uh shrink this so I mean do the, the actual uh, shrinking here so yeah let's see how it works Okay, so I used a little bit of the 4.5 hit shrink, and yeah, that was that looks decent. I mean, I think that's good enough. So all the other hit shrink tubing I put in here, I think it's gonna go to waste, but that's not a problem. Pretty cheap. Uh, all I have to do now is uh, put some very fine hit shrink around the copper braid here, so I so I'm able to solder or just to give it some protection, and then solder it back to the to the board here and job done so you know this turned out to be quite a good experience I learned how to fix cables actually uh, in a somewhat neat way that I haven't I hadn't done before so cool okay so as you guys can see wiring back in place uh, now all that is left to do is put some hot hot glue or hot nut there to hold the fragile wiring in place uh, put it back together and see if it still works. Let's see. Okay, here's the final result. As you guys can see, uh, the heat sink, uh, the heat shrink, has worked okay, and I was able to even do an even better repair than I thought because I was able to, you know, save the stress relief thing here, and you know, resolder the cables there. All good, all fine. It I tested, it works just fine. So cool. Uh, 
this video turned out to be a quick uh, tear down and, and repair of this Jabra UC Voice M50MS headset. Uh, so we saw there's not much inside, there's basically an IC. I'm gonna link the data sheet uh, down below, but there's also and there's also a, a LM358 uh, duo op amp, I guess for the microphone, but the dedicated IC does the, the all the rest, you know. USB interface, the amplification for the headphones, uh, it also does some DSP processing of the audio to enhance it and also do noise cancelling and all that. So I understand it's a pretty or you know reasonably powerful chip uh dedicated for this job so yeah it does the whole thing it turns the insides of it not much exciting but cool hope you enjoyed and uh thanks for watching